and get your kiss on. I'm gonna do like a little montage for the beginning of the next video. It's gonna be like a little like wholesome Thanksgiving start. I don't even look good right now. I just yeah, wake up. Just look happy. What is up my quesadillas? Starting off the video with that high energy. Last time we ended off the video with the low energy. Well, this low energy we don't need that shit. What we starting off this video with is that uh, this high energy. High energy coming right at ya. I just took a nap. I'm feeling great. Yesterday I ordered a shaver. I haven't been able to shave because shaving took my moving truck. Moving truck took my shaver. So yeah, today we got a shavester. So I will be babyface K in three, two, one. Oh, okay, okay. I'll be looking fresher than a baby's asshole. The military gave us this uh, shaving gel. I never realized how, how nice it is. I've never used shaving. I always just like took it straight to the skin. Uh, they also gave me this post shave balm. Oof, literally makes my skin feel smoother than a baby's butt cheek. This is splendid. Thank you so much, US military. We are back on those low vibes. I'm not even. 100% sure it's day 8, but I was just editing the last video. It made me cry, and it made me laugh, and it made me laugh and cry. Lately I've been thinking, oh hey Mochi, something that's been on my mind lately. I've been just feeling like deleting social media. I just think it's a distraction, especially with what it's become now. Like Snapchat just used to be messaging, Instagram just used to be posting pictures. Now each app is their own entertainment platform. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's ADHD, but I don't think it's good for me and my focus. I think I excel if I just focus on one thing and not have it all be split into a bunch of different platforms. Instagram, TikTok, like all that. It's just tiny little like short little pictures or clips. And that's just, it's not for me. It's too much about perfection. And I'm not trying to be a part of that. I just want this imperfect channel with my imperfect self, with my imperfect quesadillas. And we all make one big perfect world. I was thinking making a whole video talking about deleting social media. So I think my main things will be YouTube, Discord, and Twitch. I kind of want to start live streaming later. Probably in the start of the year, I'm going to start IRL streaming. Yeah, I don't need social media. That's all I need. If you want to contact me, I got an email. Discord. I even got a Patreon that I got to get more active on. I've lost so many patrons because I haven't been doing anything on there, which kind of sucks. Damn, I'm already talking about it, so if you want to be a patron. Moving on to day nine. What's up, my enchiladas? It's day nine. I just ate, worked out, and I'm about to take a shower and get ready, so let's go. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's good. good. Nice. Also, before I take a shower, I wanted to show you my drawing that I did. I also drew on my hand, if you can see. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. Hi, so I got out the shower and I got ready. Now I'm just tutoring my sister May. We're learning the times tables. Want to make a song? Yeah. All right, what do you want to put in? Katy Perry. All right. Katy Perry. What else do you want to put in it? Baby color. What's your favorite color? Pink. Katy Perry, pink. What else? Um, my sister on. My sister on. All right. Mm -hmm. How about this? What? Kibo. Maybe. Kibo. Who's Kibo? It's like a Netflix show. With the pink jaguar. You want to put that in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I really yeah, like Katy Perry. Perry. Strawberry. Pink Jaguar is my baby. On oh, is my sister. sister. And, and butterflies like to fly. You good? Yeah. You like your song? Yeah. Anyways, it's... <laughs> It's it's a good night today. This is my weird brother. He is quite weird though, I must say. I'm editing the last video. 
that you guys already saw. He and if you it. haven't yet, are you even a quesadilla? Are you even an enchilada right now? Or are you a quesadilla? Yeah. You're in a quesadilla, are you? Quesadillas and enchiladas. We don't fuck with quesadillas around here. Nah, quesadillas are long. And we definitely don't like hate sadillas. You don't even go here. What? Oh, I gotta tell everyone. I decided I am going to start a fast. I'm gonna do a three day fast. Hey yo, okay, I just posted I just posted the tears of quarantine video. It already has 700 views in 16 minutes. That's really good for how I've been lately. So like this is like it's, it's making me really happy. <laughs> I, I, I just wanna... <laughs> the quesos were too sticky. We're too. Mm, 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 mm. But I do have a sneaking suspicion that there's been a lot of inactive quesadillas. They clicked on the video because I was crying. Y'all weren't even watching this whole time. And then right when you see I'm crying, all of a sudden y'all. Y'all care now. The YouTuber in me, the entertainer in me wants to say, hey, I appreciate it anyway. Thank you for the view. But the person in me says, oh, hell no. The person in me says, yo. Ah, but anyway, whatever. Even the person in me says, thank you. So, all right, cool. Hey, Mochi. Yep, that's all I have to say. I haven't showered in like a day. So my sister's friend just sent her this snap. I missed it, but she was like, The reason I'm taking this Snapchat is because was I binging your brother's YouTube videos? Yes, I was. Was I a fan before I met you? Yes, I was. She said it something like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We getting out there, my quesos. So it's day 11 of quarantine. I haven't eaten since this time two days ago. Roughly 48 hours. Feel a little lightheaded. I think I'm going through ketosis right now. I want some fruit so bad. I want some pineapples. I want a mango. I've never said this in my life before, but I want a salad. I never liked this, but I even want the purple lettuce in there. I want all sorts of colors in my salad. The reason I'm doing this is because I feel like putting myself on survival mode like this will make me, you know, come down to what's really important. But yeah, I just want to test my body, test my spirit. Like, we've been taught to eat when we're hungry, but when we're hungry, when we have an empty stomach, that's when we grow the most. I'm just regurgitating facts on the internet here, but it's true. Or the internet says it is. Okay, I sound a little stupid right now, but I swear. People have fasted for like a month, so I could do three days easy. Like, I remember when I was a little kid, like after swim practice or something, soccer practice, my dad would pick me up. And when I was hungry, I would get super cranky. And I'd be like, I want food. I want food now. I don't want no mama's cooking. Let's get McDonald's. I want some Burger King. I want Taco Bell. I need food right now. And I needed it, or I felt like I did. I remember when I was a little kid, I thought you'd die if you don't eat for a week. I thought that was a thing. I thought, I thought that's what happened. Three days without water, you're dead. And a week without food, you're dead. But yeah, that was completely wrong. <laughs> so I just danced with my family and I felt better. Like I was feeling a little, almost a headache before. Then after I danced, I felt better. Then I was just laying down on my phone and my head hurts again. So I don't think it's exactly the fasting that's making my head hurt. It's the phone. I've been looking at a screen all day today. So maybe this is kind of putting me in my more primal state and I can feel what's affecting me and, and I'm more sensitive to the energies. I feel very light. I feel sm I feel small, like I don't know. I feel though all the connections between my muscles and tendons and ligaments. I was meditating earlier and I don't know, it hit a little different. Yeah, putting yourself on that survival mode. Like, all the first world problems go away. You're really experiencing being human, being alive. We're like natural beings putting ourselves in artificial boxes and it's slowly destroying us. And people don't realize it because it's not, it's not like a punch in the gut where you just instantly feel it, but it's a slow, degeneration and like 99% people are like they get it but they don't don't feel it 
but I'm lucky because I feel it. And it's not even just like getting fat, like health is everything. The blood, your immune system, your glands, your lymph nodes, your organs, this all is so crucial. It feels good to actually start caring about that. Like if 16 year old K were to watch this video right now, he would think this is crazy. Like, what? Bruh, I'm gonna keep eating my hot cheetos. Actually, I might still eat hot cheetos every once in a while. Hot cheetos are fire. Don't stress yourself out about it. You do you. But being 21 now and also living on my own in Japan for two years after high school, not eating healthy at all, sitting like this all the time, crouched over like this, terrible postures all the time, like playing games, doing whatever, I don't know. Even at this young ripe age, like I feel it. I I feel, I feel my mortality. It's the product of all your habits and everything you've been doing your whole life. And I've had a lot of bad habits. I regret having a lot of bad habits, but I'm also grateful because now I realize the importance of health. People sacrifice that for pleasure and it's a hard cycle to break out of, but I'm slowly breaking out. Two day fast so far is clearing up my brain a little bit. It's making me feel myself a little more. Like when I was dancing earlier, I felt more in it. And if you're young or like my age, I hope you can kind of get me a little bit. I feel like an old man talking about like, oh, I'm feeling something in my body. I just think that this whole generation is gonna take their mortality for granted. And then it's just gonna hit them and it's gonna slap them in the face when they're like 35 and they're like, wait a minute, I'm not young anymore. I got back pain from sitting in chairs and being on my phone like this. No matter how much money you have, no matter what items you possess, if your health ain't good, you, you can't even enjoy it. There are a lot of people becoming health conscious, but there's also a lot of people that think that those health conscious people are crazy. So I'm just excited. I'm excited to see what happens with everyone. Ah, right, cool. I woke up with a fat stomach ache. I barely made it to the fridge. Drank some water and I felt better. I wanted to wait till tomorrow morning so I could be well over 72 hours, but I think I already got the benefits. I don't even want to eat this banana. None that. Bananas got hella GMOs. Bananas are like artificial. So no what that mean artificial I don't know, I just after seeing all the banana facts, I can't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat some eggs. It's nice. It's day 13. I can finally get out tomorrow. I'm gonna finish this off with what I said I would do. Play a whole song on the ocarina without messing up. Sorry, my quesadillas are partially failed. I don't have it fully memorized, but I think I could play the whole thing without messing up. Here we go. I didn't really hear myself fully because of the headphones, but I think I did. I don't think this is a perfectly made ocarina either. It's a little out of tune, I think. It sounds different from videos I see. I mean, that's not even an excuse. I'm serious. There's actually a second part though, I'm gonna play that.
is pretty good. I'm an ocarina player now. You know, there's all sorts of pleasures in life. Video games, Netflix, junk food, getting frisky. But doing stuff like this, accomplishing something, that's what really, that really makes me happy. So go out there, my quesadillas, achieve your goals, conquer your challenges, take those opportunities, practice, struggle, and you'll be happy in the end. Thank you for watching my quesadillas. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like Africa.